what on earth is an irregular time signature? Well, signatures that do not fit the usual duple or triple categories, like 4, 4, 3, 4, 6, 8, etc., and don't divide into equal parts, are called complex, asymmetric, irregular, unusual, or odd. Irregular and complex are probably the two most common of these terms. Some examples of irregular time signatures include 54, 74, 58, and 78. These signatures are common in music that's not traditional Western classical music, like music from Eastern European traditions. We'll go over each of these irregular time signatures individually so you can get a sense of what they do and feel like. 54 and 58 time. So far, mostly in Music Theory 1, we've learned about time signatures like 44, 24, 34, 68, and others, where the top number is some number that divides into equal parts or little beats. So in 44, we can divide each measure into two pairs of two quarter notes, and in 128, we divide each measure into four groups of three eighth notes, and so on. So each of those little beats within the big beat is the same length. Well, we can't really do that in five, or what we call quintuple meters, for example. This means that the composer has to decide which little beats will have more or fewer notes in them when he or she writes in an irregular meter. In five, then, the composer must pick one subdivision that gets three counts and one that gets two. Either way works, and the composer can even mix them up within a piece. Here are a couple examples of 5-8 and 5-4 time, dividing into groups of 2 plus 3 eighth notes and then 3 plus 2 eighth notes. In real life musical examples, you could see 3 plus 2 divisions, 2 plus 3 divisions, or you may not hear where the groups are, or the groupings may change throughout. In this piece by Piotr Tchaikovsky in 5-4, the slurs suggest a 2 plus 3 quarter note grouping in each measure, especially on the first line. If you're wondering what that new clef is near the end of that line, check out our bonus module lesson on the tenor clef. You won't always necessarily need to spot what the internal grouping is within a 5-4 time piece, for example, but it's really helpful when you're actually learning a piece in this time signature so you can shape your phrases in a way that matches the music.